Hi, today I'm going to be explaining an activity that I like to do with my children to teach them about living and non-living things in nature by going on a nature walk together. To begin, I'll ask the children what they know about living and non-living things. Maybe they've seen some living and non-living things in nature at home or in their neighborhood they want to share about. I'll then explain the activity we're going to be doing to the children. So we will be going on a nature walk together. We will be looking for living and non-living things in nature. We will be using our senses to explore and observe. So we will be looking with our eyes, listening with our ears, touching with our hands, and smelling with our noses. I'll also tell the children that we're going to be talking about what we see in the nature walk. Before we go outside, I'll ask the children a few questions, such as, where will we look? And, what do you think we'll see? I'll ask the children to name living and non-living things that they think we might see on our nature walk, and I'll make a little chart like this, and just list the living things they say on this side, and the non-living things they say on this side. I'll also let the children know that we're only going to be observing and exploring today. We're not going to collect anything in nature on this nature walk. After explaining the instructions, we'll go outside as a group and start making our way around the school. I will model for the kids how to explore and observe nature. Um, I might pick up a log and say, what could be under this? While the kids are exploring and observing, I'll encourage discussion about what they're seeing. So I might say to the child, tell me what you see, or what does it look like? Do you think it's living or not living? And if the child does find something living, I'll ask them, where was it living? And I'll explain to them that where it was living was its habitat. So once we've done that, I'll ask the children, to draw a picture of something they found interesting on our nature walk. And this just helps the children to look more closely at details and also to think deeper about the living and non-living things that we find. Once we're back in class, I'll have the children share what they observed with each other and we'll also share our drawings. And this activity is a really great way to introduce looking at living and non-living things in nature and also to practice those ex exploration and observation skills.